を始めていいですか Okay, I'm presenter named Masashi Raiwa.、Uh, it is a great honor to be able to speak to, the, to you today. And today, I'd like to talk about the design and implementation of large scale projection based massive display, large space. My, my presentation consists of seven parts. Here is the outline of my presentation. First, I'd like to start by talking about position and purpose of this research. In this research, we clarified the issues of the immersive display. And we did research and development to solve it. Vision plays an important role in the, in the recognition. And in virtual reality, various devices have been developed to、uh, stim stimulate the vision. And、one of them is an i n v e n s i v e display, like CAVE. In this research, we, we clarified the issues of i m m e r s i v e display. So, what are the issues with i m m e r s i v e display? The previous i m m e r s i v e displays have a small experience space. And this limits the range of the experienced person movement. And the size of experimental devices. In our study, immersive display issues、uh, this limitation. Therefore, the purpose of the research was to solve the limitation by upsizing the system. Specifically, we did the following three things. The first is to show design guidelines for large scale immersive display. The second is to propose a virtual environment construction software that makes construction of virtual space easier. The last is to de demonstrate the utility by implementing the application. In this presentation, I will present the hardware and software implementation and applications of large scale immersive display, large space. Here, I will be talking about the hardware implementation and the design theory of large space. So, what is design requirements in large space? There are four requirements to design a large scale immersive display. The most important thing is to make the experience space as wide as possible. Next, I will talk, be talking about the design guidelines used these requirements. Here is the design guideline.、Uh, the hardware device was implemented according, the, according to these guidelines. The first implementation is about projection method. Large space used the front projection method to make the backyard as small as possible. In addition, the projector was installed at the top of the offsite side of the screen. Uh, it is to suppress the projection light shielding、uh, by people and to enable wide area projection.、Uh, the second implementation is about screen shape.、Uh, light space used a, com a compound curved screen to eliminate Im image breaks.、Uh, the size of the screen is as shown on the right. Uh, the third implementation is about project, projector placement. As shown on the right,、uh, large space projects project,、uh, with 12 projectors throughout the system. The last implementation is about viewpoint position tracking.、Uh, in large space,、uh, 20 optical motion tracking cameras were used. To measure the position of 3D glass with markers.、Uh, this implementation is all controlled by four synchronized control clusters. Next, we will be talking about a virtual environment construction software. First of all, in many projection software,、uh, so、the screen shape is a flat screen. Was setting of curved surface projection is compli complicated. 
Therefore, we propose a rendering method that can be easily implemented to perform 3D image presentation at any screen shape and any viewpoint position. And this slide is an overview of the project projection algorithm. And the rendering algorithm is composed of 3D image generation and uh, projection distortion correction. This work with screen shape, projector parameters, and viewpoint position. Light space uses stereo pan panoramic rendering for 3D image generation. In this algorithm, as shown in the figure, two cameras are rotated for shutting. And two panorama panoramic images are generated. It is necessary to project the obtained panoramic images on the screen so that it looks correct. For that purpose, a dis dis distortion correction algorithm as shown in this slide is necessary. I will explain this algorithm. First, set the surface model of the screen on the virtual space. Second, we project an image from the viewpoint to the surface model. Third, we set the camera on the virtual space from the projector parameters on real space. Finally, the image information obtained by the camera on virtual space is projected from the projector on real space. This algorithm can present, it, present the user with the correct look. Let's talk about software implementation in real space. First, it is a video of a perceptive view in a prototype Im implementation using OpenGL and GLST. As you, as you can see from this video, it is possible to project the image according to the viewpoint position. Next is a view of the user point, user point of view. You can see that this video can be displayed without distortion of objects. From these, object, from these videos, it can be said that our method is correctly performing distortion correction and 3D image generation. Next, we used Unity in this implementation. Uh, application developers can easily create application with immersive displays. Uh, simple operations such as installing a Unity package. You can implement your favorite application on the immersive display like the video. Now that I have talking about the implementation, I will talk about the performance evolution of light space. The first is about brightness difference and image break. Pre And please look at, 
this picture. As you can see from this picture, you can see that there are no break images. Uh, moreover, the brightness preference is suppressed by applying a blending filter. Next is about display abilities. The effective pixel count and the effective viewing angle are as follows. Of these, the number of effective pixels in this area of fear is 2.64 million pixels. Therefore, the angular res resolution and visual actually conversion uh, become like slight values. And Japan's car license requires 0 0.3 or more of one sighting power. In other words, it can be said that light space can provide a view with a certain degree of accuracy necessary for human life. The space utilization efficiency is like this graph. And it is clear that it is much better than other immersive displays. Finally, we measured and shadowed area on the wall by blocking the projection light. As a result, uh, the Im inside of the dots lying in the right figure is an area not shared. I think you have understood the fe features of light space up to this point. Here is a brief introduction to the application using that light space. Since light space was developed for use in various applications, light space has conducted a psychological ex ex experiments, massive installations, and integrations with uh, internal devices and other fields. Uh, please ask the question if you want to ask in detail. Finally, I will present the summary of this research and finish the presentation. Thank you for your attention. Uh, so uh, it's so it's really uh, huge space, and uh, how many people can 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 experience the same? Uh, how can I say, in in the same at the same time in this system? Uh, in this system, uh, viewpoint tracking is one person, but uh, uh, as a many person. Uh, can 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 see uh, can can see uh, virtual vision uh, near projects near a person who tracking uh, tracked uh, system. Any questions? Uh, thank you. Uh, nice uh, question. And, <laughs> and th this is a uh, uh, integration with wire driving motion base. Uh, if you uh, ride this uh, motion base, you can fly and uh, well jump uh, out. Okay, thank you very much.